What up guys? My name is Jack and in today's video, this is going to be a short, just quick video, informal, you know, just, just talking to the camera about this new OTC. Well, it's not new, but many people don't even know what the fuck it is. Um, it's a OTC drug um, that's found in Benzodrex inhalers, which are for like nasal decongestion. And they contain a drug um, that's an analog of methamphetamine. Okay guys, so I was able to find the name of this drug. Um, and I think it's called propylhexadrine. Anyway, now that you know the name of the drug, um, I can tell you a little bit more about the effects of the drug. So basically, the effects of propylhexadrine very closely mimic methamphetamine. Um, but there is there are uh, there is a very important difference in between between the two drugs. Uh, propylhexadrine causes vasoconstriction, while methamphetamine doesn't cause vaso just vasoconstriction. So using propylhexadrine um, carries more uh, risk to the user um, due to the uh, significant vasoconstriction it can cause at high doses. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, and you're probably thinking to yourself, Jack, how can this drug be a structural analog of methamphetamine, yet slip through the cracks and still be available as an OTC drug uh, for anyone of any age to purchase? And to answer your question, I will simply say that the original Benzodrex inhalers contained amphetamine. And when amphetamine was placed on the Schedule II list of substances on the United States, the makers of Benzodrex had to switch their active drug to something different, but that still had the same um, type of effectiveness as a nasal decongestion, and they wound up picking Propylhexadrine. Now, it is very safe to say that this drug does not have an established safety profile. Not enough users have used this substance enough and for long enough to actually know um, how harmful this drug actually is. But most people say that it is safe to assume that it is just as harmful as methamphetamine and amphetamine, if not worse, um, due to its vasoconstriction. In conclusion, you know, if you're a curious, um, you know, psychonaut or drug user and you feel the need um, to try this drug, go ahead, but make sure that you start with a very low dose and you only use it very, very sparingly. I would probably recommend like one time, one and done, fucking see how it is and kick it out to the curb, man, seriously. Because this drug does seem to carry a lot of risk and a lot of danger.